Hello everyone, my name is Hexia and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a little bit of uh, fighting against the survivors, I guess. Uh, with the boon totems coming into play and becoming very meta in the survivor side, and especially with this new survivor coming out with, with his unbreakable boon totem, like killers need to step up their game because if not then they lose gems very very quickly if you play killer at all whatsoever or if you're a killer main you know what I'm talking about so today I thought you know why wouldn't I try to fight the meta with hex perks boon totems and hex perks collide so that's what I did today so I had two different builds um, I had two of the same hex perks that I used so I used one build for the Demogorgon, which is kind of like a C tier killer, and personally he's my main. And then I also did it with a little higher tier of a killer, and I used Oni. So I'll go through both of the perks that I used for them. So I started with Haunted Grounds, Hex Ruin, Hex Thrill of the Hunt, and Hex Blood Favor. Also for both of them, I used Hex Thrill of the Hunt because it gives the survivors 10% um, reduce speed for cleansing and blessing totems so with them trying to bless all their totems for their quick heals i try to negate that as much as possible and i think for both games i only got two boon totems on my hexes so for him because i had a little bit different perks on him and i had devour hope unfortunately i only got it to level three or four i got it to the point where you could down survivors in one hit and little bastards found the totem so i was like no i can't kill somebody um but i put hex undying ruin devour and of course thrill the hunt thrill the hunt is going to be key here because if you just put all of your hex totem build without thrill the hunt it doesn't take that terribly long to get rid of the hex totems blessing them still takes a really long time for any hex totem but like just um survivors will just cleanse it so that extra 10% reduced speed for cleansing or blessing is just, it's a lifesaver. Let me show you these two games. I'll show you the survivor perks that I went up against, how I dealt with them. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the games and I'll show you what happened. Hmm. Interesting that, interesting that. Happened. Where are you going? Oh, 
Okay, pellets. It is not a good place. See how my hex totems do on this map, even though half of them are like out in the fucking open. Oh. Hello! Good to see you. Anybody else over here? Anybody? 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 Hello?
Oh, really? Truly. confusing the shit out of me.
the race, boys. Alrighty guys, well those were my two games. Um, I played four games in total, two Demogorgon and two Oni, and both games from both killers, so all four games, were either 28k to 31k I believe, but no lower than that. I would say this is very strong. Um, to counteract the Boon Totem meta right now, um, but even then, you could see with both these games, I lost almost all my gens except for one. Um, but the, but the key with this is that survivors are way too busy um, trying to cleanse these throughout the entire match, especially because of Thrill of Hunt. Um, with the 10% reduced speed, it takes them a lot longer to do anything with totems. So yes, I did lose those gens, but I also got a ton of hooks. That's going to be the difference between winning the game with one gen up and then like them all escaping because I can tell you with all four games, um, nobody escaped unless I let them. And when I mean I let them, I mean the last survivor, I let them leave through hatch. So uh, go ahead and try this out if you want to. Let me know how it goes. I would love to see how your games are if you guys try it with different killers, if there you have a different experience with a different killer. I'd love to know. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.